So the next um, session of things we're going to show you are all core strengthening exercises. I'm a big believer in planks and push-ups. I think they are two very effective uh, exercises to strengthen your whole body uh, and make sure that everything is firing at one time rather than just doing one, one muscle group at a time. We're going to fire them all in one, one go. Okay, so every set, we have five sets. We cannot do all, all five sets in one day in a typical workout. One, there's not time, and two, it's overkill. Okay, so we're going to kind of, I'm going to show you the five sets and then some additional things that you can move in and add in as they progress. Uh, but we're going to probably do three sets a day, maybe sometimes only two. It just depends on what, you know, what we have for time. These are also great for like maybe at the end of practice, if you, you just have an extra 10 minutes and you're like, you know what, we need to, we need to get our core going. Um, you can throw one or two of these sets in and they're getting, making sure they're stabilizing their, their abdomen. Works on overall strength, works on um, flexibility, again, our balance, all, all good things for working out um, and developing the whole athlete. So the, each set will start with some form of push-up. So in this first set, they're going to do a regular push-up. So girls, if you could get in push-up position for me. Um, I would say that push-ups are some of the most um, troubling thing. <laughs> things that I see in high school girls, they don't do them very well. Uh, they sometimes they're like an elbow bend I'm like, or a head nod. I'm like, what is happening? Your head is, should be still. I don't want to see this happening or just a little kind of just slight bend in their elbow. So they're going to show me they're going to basically get in a full push-up position. Okay, and they're going to go down and flat to the ground. We want to go very nice. You can go back up. <laughs> I'm not going to make you hold it there. Okay, so just go ahead and do continuous push-ups. We want to look for a flat back. Okay, we want to make sure that they're not dipping. Go ahead, keep going. They're not dipping those hips down. We saw a little bit there over there with Audrey. They don't want their hands too wide. Keep going, ladies. Just keep going while I talk. There we go. Okay, if they're really struggling, okay, we can always have them drop to their knees. So Audrey, why don't you go ahead and do that? She's gonna drop to her knees, but make sure when they do that, you can see all her body weight is forward, good. Okay, so Morgan is continuing to do them in the full push-up form, and Audrey's got that uh, on the knee. It just takes a little bit of the pressure off the shoulder and makes it a little bit easier. I would rather see a girl do a push-up like this. They call them girl push-ups, but I refuse to do that. Okay, um, it's a modified push-up. So our modified push-up, if they're really struggling with the regular push-up, I'd rather see them do it right than to be doing a head nod or an elbow bend or some of the disgusting things that I see um, with push-ups sometimes in the gym. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 of those. That's our first part of set one. Okay, so after they do the 10 push-ups, we're gonna see the first ab exercise is called a Russian twist with a med ball. You can also use a weight if the med ball's too heavy, just like a five pound weight or whatever you, you know, each girl can handle. So their feet are crossed, the ball is gonna go opposite their knees. So their knees are gonna, it's just a rotation. They're on the fleshy part of their bottom. Okay, so they're really, it's balanced. Again, you can feel that in their core. We're working their shoulders, okay? All kinds of different muscle groups being utilized. They do 20, and then they'll stop, okay? So that is the Russian twist. Then they're gonna hop up on their feet with a med ball, and we're gonna do what we call the wood chop. So they're gonna take the ball above their right shoulder, okay? And they're gonna come down across their body. Again, they're in an athletic stance, so maybe feet a little bit wider. Okay, and their, their hips are loaded, their, their butts are out, and they're gonna come across, and they're gonna come up. It's, it's kind of an explosion. We wanna make sure that they're doing it in a dynamic way. Again, working on their flexibility, working on that shoulder strength, it's controlled. We don't wanna see them out of control, right? Like where they're dropping the ball or crazy business is happening. Again, we wanna make sure that knee is behind their toe. Audrey, I saw that knee come forward a little bit. We wanna always remind them, just stick your bottom out. Stick your bottom out, okay? And they're gonna do <clears throat> 10 on each side and they're gonna switch. So they're gonna go to the other side and they're gonna do the same thing. So 10 on each side, those are wood chops. Very nice. Okay, you guys can stop. Okay, the third exercise in this first set of abs is the forward plank. So we wanna make sure that we're on our toes. Uh, the only thing touching the ground are our toes, our elbows and our forearms. Okay, we wanna keep our backs nice and flat. As they get tired, can you dip down for me a little bit? You're gonna to start to see that. Okay, you wanna kinda of take their shirt and make sure you pull them up. Make sure they keep that back flat. I should be able to eat dinner off their back. Okay, I should be able to put my plate there, sit down and have a nice meal, because they're nice and flat. We're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. As time progresses or as the weeks go on, as they get stronger, we can add time to the forward plank. That's one way to just progress it and make it a little more challenging. Okay, so you guys can go ahead and stop. That's set one of the ab core workout.